checking out the gold mine here in California. It's called the Empire Mines in Northern California. It's in a city called Nevada City. So this is a site map of Empire State Historic Park. This is where they have one of the largest uh, hard rock gold mine in the state of California. So this is how it looks like. Uh, let me show you the surrounding area. So the museum is deep in there, which is also a state gold mine. And that's how it looks like. And I have my puppy of Fiki here. And guess who is here too? I got my wife here. Looking <laughs> pretty. So, yeah, so we're going to check out this mine. I hope it's open today. But this side looks like, yeah, we still have the COVID signs all of them. All of this area used to be a mine. They say the Empire Mine was the largest and deepest gold mine in the state of California. And this cottage here was owned by this family that they have just shown here in this placard or signage. So it's called the Oyang House. Uh, they came from China and they lived in this cottage here. So that's how it looks like. It looks all nice and green. Very neatly taken care of. It's still the same way it used to be. So again, if you join me here, I'm at Nevada City, California. And this is the Empire State Mine. Uh, it shows the largest and deepest gold mine in the state of California. So I'm just checking it out. This is how it looks like. It's partially open, especially during this period of COVID-19. So, this is how it looks like. This is part of the mine. I think this is some of the machines used for the mine here. Uh, this is... I don't know, but this might have been used for crushing the gold or something. This mine was very active in the 1850s when they had all people migrating to California during the gold rush. And this area of Nevada City, people struck this gold. It was a lot. So they have some nice stuff here that you can look at. Uh, down there, it looks like it's closed. It's part of the mine. Uh, I think they had the shafts going down there. So, grab that. If you're joining me for the first time in this channel, uh, thank you for joining me. And this is Think Museums. Uh, please go ahead and click on the notification down below. And don't forget, forget to ring that bell so that you don't miss on any of my traveling around here in California. And today we are in a gold mine, also known as the Empire State Mine. We're trying to see some of the, you know, how the mine used to look like. Uh, it's only that it's closed today because uh, of the COVID-19, but we got some things that you can check out. So let's see. These nuts have been used for crushing some minerals, uh, the rocks, you know, so that they can get the gold out of it. It's a heat machine. So this is how it looks like the Empire Mine Yard. And I'm right here. So, so this is how the teeth look like. You can see my shadow there as I take the photo of the video. But that's how the, the yard just look like. That's how big it is. And they say if you're standing here during the operation, 
there's deafening sounds from the crushing rocks and the blacksmiths in their workshop doing all you know the gold activities. That's the office there. Yeah? And this is what they're talking about on this signage. Let's close that. We'll peek inside and see what's in there. Okay. So this is the machine shop. And as you can see, that's how it just looks like. I think that all the equipment that were processing the gold here. But you might be wondering why am I showing you through the fence. Um, it's only because uh, the mine or the uh, the mine has been closed uh, because of the COVID-19. So they only allow you to check it out from outside. That's how it used to look like. So that's inside there. Uh, that's the machine shop. And this is how they left the mine. This is how it was. Uh, nothing has changed. This is how this mine used to look like. Um, you can see that. You know, it was a busy space. Um, so we, from the machine shop, I'm going to take you guys to the the shaft where the shaft is. We're not going to be able to go down the ground uh, because everything is locked up, but. We'll see how it used to look like. But a lot of things used to happen here. Yeah. So they say most of the equipment here used to be operated by overhead belt drive. So they had belts, you can see from the top there. You know, they're run by the belts, you know, connecting each other and or running it. So this is pretty nice. You know, just, I bet if you look at the mining operation now, maybe it's almost the same, but there's a lot of improvement from what they used to do back in the 1850s. But this is pretty cool. So again, we are here in Nevada City, California. This is in northern Nevada. And we are checking out the Empire State Mine. This is a whole kind of uh, operation here. This is interesting. I wish I was here when uh, everything was opened up. But this is how it looks like. You know. So when they were done mining all the gold and they had exhausted everything under the ground, this mine shut down. So this is the tool sharpening room. So you're shopping up your tools that you're going to use down in the mines here. So that's how it looks like, man. Wow. This is interesting. You know, what I notice is that uh, most mines, uh, they look more makeshift. It's like makeshift buildings, but this is how it looks like. And I'm here in Nevada City, California, and I'm in the Empire Mine. This was the biggest and largest gold mine in the state of California. Pretty neat, decent, and, you know, very historic because the number of minerals or gold that was mined from this place, it's a lot. And they say underneath the ground here, it runs for 367 miles. So you can imagine 367 miles. That's over 400 or 500 kilometers of underground passages you know, so that's how it looks like. Um, so let's see what's up here. This. I don't know what this is about. But this is some very, very dark room. Wow. I don't know what this building was, but it looks like something was burning here. I think they used to burn there to match the the gold here. 